So these are the guides for my guillotine tool. Uh, I have these machined from solid stock. Uh, it's very accurate but very costly. Uh, the reason I'm showing these is because I'm in the middle of redesigning my guillotine tool. Uh, mainly to see if I can maybe uh, do something different than have these milled out. And also because uh, recently shipping rates have gone really bonkers and so I'd like to try to reduce a little bit of weight from this tool and help me save a little and my customers as well. So I've had the idea for a while to use this heavy pipe to see if I can shape it to form guides for my guillotine tool. And this might be something that you might be able to do yourself uh, if you want to make your own tool. I need to give a very big shout out to three guys for their very generous donations. They are Stanley Grant, Stephen Pratt, and Jerry S. Hodges. These good fellas have gone above and beyond to the point where a simple thank you doesn't seem sufficient. Nonetheless, thank you. This piece is the same as my die steel, which is 16 by 38 millimeters. This is a die that I often use. Still a little bit too tight. I'm going to go with this longer piece here and see if I can open it up a little bit more. My thinking is if I can work the sides and the cheeks a little bit, I can stretch the material some and open it up just that little bit. But as a piece stretches one way, it compresses in the other, and so it's a little bit counterproductive. Uh, just got to do some experimentation. So this is a new piece of die stock, and it's still too tight. But I think partially one of the problems here is, is that the edges need to be uh, chamfered more and that should make it work. This piece, which is a little bit more narrow, has very chamfered edges and so uh, that should help, I think. This is my current guillotine tool, the guide part. 
So you can see what I'd like to do is remove some weight from this tool and I also would like to open up the throat a little bit and lengthen the hardy shank a little bit as well. So this is my new design. Uh, I've used a piece of medium carbon here for that uh, supporting piece and you can see how that's much lighter. But I don't think it'll, it'll reduce anything as far as uh, sturdiness goes because you're not hammering on this piece, you're hammering on the dies. Also, I put the guides to the front of the supporting piece and not to the back on the old one. And I think that will help me because I normally use it in this orientation. So having it more forward will help me visually. However, when you turn it, you'll see that now with my anvil here, that won't work. But it's not a big deal because I can use it this way or with my anvil, which is pretty light, I can just turn it around, just flip it end to end. I decided to have the pipe guides welded on just to see. Hard to beat that fit. I still think I can make this pipe idea work, just going to take some fiddling. I don't want to raise the price of this tool, and so if I can make those pipe guides work, that would be great. So this is the pipe I used, but I went out and I bought this pipe, which has just a slightly larger uh, interior diameter. So that should give me just a, that little extra room. Just It's maybe just one millimeter larger on the inside. But I'll monkey around with that pipe at a later date. Here's the completed newer version with the milled guides. I always tell people that my guillotine tool is nothing fancy. Uh, it's relatively small and simple, but it is sturdy and it comes with uh, three different die sets and is ready to use. And so maybe that's the one advantage it has over other systems. So I took the die set from much earlier on that I frequently use and I chamfered the edges and also took a little bit off the face and sides and see if that would work with the uh, pipe guides and lo and behold they fit. Maybe a little bit loose but it's still fine. One possible issue after expanding the throat opening is that the top die doesn't protrude very much and you obviously have to grab that. Also if the top die mushrooms that could be another potential problem so I'll work on that. The wider throat opening allows me to insert this 38 millimeter square stock.
I'll test this newer version out starting with this smaller round stock. This is one way to overcome the shorter protrusion. I'll give the pipe guide one a go. Nothing wrong there. To be continued. Catch you guys next time.